Hi friends, it's Quenby, Grateful Queen here on YouTube, and today I have a video about sourcing inventory online. I'm going to share with you my experience of buying things from shopgoodwill.com in order to resell them on eBay and Poshmark for profit. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Quenby. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark, which means I buy pre-owned items, mostly clothes and accessories, and I work from home. I run a business reselling items online. If you like these kinds of videos, please be sure to subscribe and make sure to leave a comment so you can join our community here on the channel. So one of my challenges as a part-time reseller is that it is hard to get enough inventory sometimes. I absolutely love thrifting. That's how I got into this whole gig. However, as a part-time reseller, I don't always have time to run into thrift stores. So I look for other ways to source inventory and I buy things online sometimes to resell. So if you don't know, many Goodwills across the country are now selling their items online. And if you go to shopgoodwill.com, you will see that it's, you're, you have an option to shop from Goodwill online now. And it kind of reminds me of eBay in the old days. I've been selling on eBay over eight years. And in the past, eBay was mostly auctions. Now, as a reseller myself, I sell almost everything with a fixed price buy it now on both Poshmark and eBay. But Shop Goodwill is still doing mostly auctions. They have some buy it now but um, not as many, it's mostly auctions. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about going on the site. I'll probably insert some footage in this video of how to just go on and what it looks like. And I'm gonna do a haul video. I'm going to show you the items that I've been buying. I've got some clothes and some jewelry that I've been buying from shopgoodwill.com. So maybe you'll learn some new brands. Maybe you'll learn about a new way to get inventory. So let's get into it. So I'm going to show you some of the things I'm buying, but I want to tell you that my experience of Shop Goodwill has been really positive. However, it is a little more expensive, especially because the cost of shipping is usually around $10, no matter what item I'm interested in buying. So you have to add that to whatever price it is that they're asking. So I'm selective in what I'm buying. And I sort of asked myself, Quimby, what items sell the best for you? So for example, when I asked myself that, I came up with a couple brands like Lululemon, for example, that I sell a lot of on Poshmark. It tends to sell quick and around the $30 to $45 range. So that's a good flip for me. So I'm looking for Lulu items and I don't find them every time I go out sourcing, but I can search specifically for Lululemon on shopgoodwill.com. So um, I'll show you a couple of the Lulu pieces I got. They ship with FedEx and, ooh, I was hoping, so oftentimes they have an invoice when they send it to me and this one doesn't have an invoice in it. I want to say I spent about $20 on this then and this is a Lululemon jacket and this style tends to do pretty well for me. It's got thumb holes and I always put thumb holes in my title. This is a more fitted jacket. It's a more fitted style zip front. And they will tell you on Shop Goodwill what the condition is. Sometimes they'll just say as is, um, gently used, but sometimes they're more specific. This I am very impressed with though, you guys, because this is really in gorgeous condition. I mean, this is almost in like, like new condition. I don't know the name of this. I usually go onto the website Lulu Fanatics and I try and find prints and styles but I'll probably put this up around the $50 mark on Poshmark and try and get 40, which would be maybe double what I spent. I saved all these so I could do a video with you guys. They've been sitting. This one does have an invoice, so that's great. I can tell you exactly what I spent. And it's a little bit more than I would usually spend, but um, so these were $10.99. The shipping was $8.39, $2 handling. So I paid $21 for these, which 
is too expensive. But I also know that I can flip these around the $40 mark. Making a little noise for you. Okay, so I bought these because I can, they were 20 bucks, but I think I can flip them for around 40. They're Lululemon skinny leggings, and these are a nice long length. So Lulu leggings, I usually put around 50 on Posh. I usually take an offer of about 40, and they usually sell quick, like within a week. And this pair I thought was well worth it because they have a really great um, print. They're full length and then they have this ruching so they're gathered down at the ankle there which is a really nice style detail. And again, I am really happy with the condition of these. Uh, in the pocket of the Lululemon, you can often find the size tag. I don't see it at first glance. Oh, here it is, it's in the back pocket. These are a size four. And again, I will go on Lulu Fanatics and find the style name. And these, again, are in really excellent shape. So I'm happy with those. So here is the Shop Goodwill website. You can just Google Shop Goodwill, and um, this will come up. And here's the search bar, and I just type in here an item that I'm looking for, a brand. So I put Lululemon in, and then you can see these are all the auctions currently going on for Lulu and I will look for something specific like I know the leggings do really well but you can see it is competitive these leggings are $22 and shipping is usually kind of expensive so I for that pair wouldn't want to spend that much but you can see there is a lot for sale these would be a good one a good pair that I'd be interested in because they're a black full-length skinny legging but they're already up to $37 you can see there so um, it's really simple. You could put in any brands that you're interested in and bid. Um, a note would be to just watch out for shipping costs, can get high. Um, but there's a lot of good stuff on here. And remember, one of the benefits is it's coming right to your house. You're not out at the stores having to source for it. So I think it's really valuable. You could search jewelry lots or any of your other favorite brands. So for example, um, here's a Lulu sweatshirt that I'm interested in because it's only at um, $8.99 right now. So I can click here to zoom in on the pictures. So I can tell it's got a little bit of condition issues, just some fuzzies and things like that. But I have a really awesome depiller. Maybe I'll show you guys that. So um, then if I scroll down, there's a button here that's really important called Estimate Shipping right here. So I'm going to click on that and it'll put in my address information and I can get an estimate for shipping. And then it'll come up and say, okay, your shipping and handling is going to be $9.35. So that's pretty expensive. But if I look at the fact that the sweatshirt is nine bucks and the shipping so i'm looking at like twenty dollars and i think i'm gonna do i'll go into poshmark i think i could probably get 40 bucks for this maybe so it might be worth it for this style so um just a couple tips there i hope that's helpful for you guys i ordered a lot of items here's my invoice so the total for these four items was so these I specifically looked for because the brand on these is Cut Loose. I'll show you a tag. And Cut Loose Tops, they're sold at boutiques. And these are all individually wrapped. So I'm going to go off camera, open the bag so you don't have to deal with all that. And then I'll come back and show you what I got. Okay, so this is one of my favorite brands to sell. The brand is Cut Loose. And it's a lag and look artsy style. This is a, a size XL, beautiful turquoise, which is my favorite color, linen tunic top, oversized. And as I've said before, anything that I can put lag and look in the title, and it's a linen oversized boxy piece, does really well. I'm going to put these up around the $40 mark and hope to get at least $30. This was $11.99 at shopgoodwill.com. Also by the same brand, so I specifically searched this brand cut loose. This is an oversized linen rust colored top. 
it's really got a textured knit and kind of a subtle print and it's got pockets. I sell these things for around $40 all day long. This one was only $6.99 for some reason. It's a cut loose size medium linen top. I will steam all of these so that they photograph well. And I'm so excited to have these desirable pieces in my eBay store. I will put these all on eBay. I'm still in the practice of putting my mature items on eBay and my younger trendier items on Poshmark. I know not everybody does that. It's just a choice that I have made. And this is another popover linen tunic. Perfect for that art teacher lag and look style. And it has that asymmetrical hemline. I've sometimes heard that called a shark bite. This lot of two was $25.41 because they were new with tags let me see if the retail price is on here $92 so I'm hoping to get maybe around 40 or 50 for these this is the 10 cell tunic new with tags long white tunic it is so soft the quality on this round neck tunic is so beautiful and I got another one so two of these so Cut loose, sewn and dyed in San Francisco. I'm an hour north of San Francisco, so maybe that's why I find cut loose and I don't hear, hear so many other resellers talking about it. So this was $92 originally, and this is just a simple tunic top. So my guess is these linen ones go around the $100 mark new retail. So I am new to jewelry. I have a lot to learn. F feel free to add any information you know about this in the comments so we can all learn. Here's the invoices that they said, and I bid on this one and I paid uh, $9.49 for this lot, came like this. This is kind of a smaller lot. I've bought some really large lots from them too. Um, my total on this was $14.49 and this was called, uh, the title on this one was 12 piece gold and silver tone industrial style jewelry. I'm new to jewelry I'm trying to buy things that I actually like so that if it's not sellable I will just keep it and I won't mind being stuck with it um, but let's see what's in this 12 piece lot silver toned brocade ring. It really feels heavyweight and amazing. I don't see a brand. There are some markings on it though, so I'll do a little research on that. We have this silver toned ring. Oh, and these I really like. I don't know if these are handmade or jeweler made or what, but I really like these. Kind of a minimalist, I would say. Gold tone earrings. Ooh, I really like these too. These are some gold and turquoise is my favorite. And it's hard actually to find gold tone with turquoise. These are some hoops, gold with some little inlaid turquoise pieces. Oh, I love those. I don't know if they'll make it to my Poshmark closet because I really like them. Some of this is tangled together. That's sort of what you're dealing with when you order a jewelry lot. Okay, so like I said, a lot of this jewelry, I buy things that I really like myself just in case they're not sellable. And I actually really love a lot of the pieces in this lot. These are kind of a hammered gold, um, gold tone earrings. Ooh, these are a hammered silver and gold tone. Oh, I love these so much. This is a heavyweight silver toned ring. Now, several of these rings have some markings on them and it says PD and this one too, so I'm going to need to look up what that is. This is a silver toned ring. Oh, I love this so much. How am I gonna sell this? Look at this one. I love that circular and it looks like it has kind of a sea pearl in it. Nice, and then there's some hoop earrings. Simple silver hoops, big JLo gold hoops. And these are kind of a dangle, but I like the shape and their silver and gold tone. So really nice stuff. I really like this. It is a little challenging to sell um, jewelry 
without name brands. So I'm learning to how to list jewelry using just a description and keywords. I'm really enjoying it. I like photographing jewelry. Okay, I'm back with another lot that I got from Shop Goodwill. It just arrived in the mail and I wanted to include it in the video. So here goes. This is a lot that I bought from Shop Goodwill of three items from the brand Chico's. Chico sells really well for me on eBay. I paid $9.99 plus shipping. Shipping was about $10. When I'm searching for brands like Chico's on Shop Goodwill, I'm really looking for the larger sizes. This is one of those brands that really do well for me in the large sizes. So let's see what I got here. This is a size three. So in Chico's, the size three, they do vanity sizing. So size three is an XL. And this is kind of, oh, I really like this. And this would fit really well into my best-selling category on eBay, which is lag and look. So this is a, a neutral color, kind of a beige. It's an open knit boxy sweater with a three-fourth sleeve and a gorgeous button detail. This is in immaculate condition. I think someone's going to really love this. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit it. Punch it. Other Chico's piece is new with tags. Yay. Um, and it retailed for $69.50. So Chico's is a pretty expensive store. If you've ever gone in there um, for a top like this, $69.50, this is gorgeous. It's bright red and it has some gold studding detail there. And it has what I'd call a flounce. So this extra layer on the top is a flounce. It feels really silky. And this would be a really flattering piece. So I hope someone's really gonna love that. So this is a Chico size three maxi dress. It's a long dress, white with a brown stripe. And then I like how at the end of this dress, it has a contrast hem. So the stripes are going a different way. So that's a nice pop there. Again, this is an immaculate condition. It's a really nice versatile piece. So I think someone's gonna really like that. $20 on these three pieces, one new with tag. So I definitely think I can make a good return on this investment. I'm also going to be looking on shopgoodwill.com at some of the lots. They have often for sale new with tag lots and it might be like 25 or 30 items. They do sell around two or $300, but I think it's gonna be worth it if it's a good brand that I know with some cute styles and new with tags. It's worth paying up a little bit more for. So I am going to be looking for buying some of these lots so I can get a lot of inventory all at once. So I'll keep you posted on that. Have you? shopped online to source inventory for your business? If so, let us know your experiences. What do you think of this whole idea of shopping online at shopgoodwill.com? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Oh, Jerry, you must subscribe to Grateful Queen. It's so amazing. I'm going to go subscribe and turn on notifications. Okay, they're on. Did you do a thumbs up? Yes, I did a thumbs up. Wait, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications and like.